Hello everyone, my name is Moody, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Bolt Pistol. The Bolt Pistol was introduced in Uprising 1.8. It is the Kaldari Pistol. And I'm loving it. It is, dare I say, the most balanced weapon that CCP has released so far. Well, it's also broken a little bit, but I'll go into that in a minute. In the meantime, let's look at some stats, shall we? Uh, the biggest thing you are going to notice about this is its rate of fire, which is at 150 RPMs, which is painfully slow compared to pretty much everything else in the game. So, it's pretty obvious this is not a close quarters weapon. It does, however, really pack a punch when it does shoot. At standard level, you're doing 135 per shot, and then at proto, you're maxing out at 148.5. Uh, it is a rail type damage, so you're doing negative 10 against shields and plus 10 against armor. So, eating those Galente alive. It does, however, have the longest pistol reload out of all the pistols, uh, clocking at 2.7 seconds. Uh, all the other pistols around 2.4 seconds. So, this does have quite the reload, and with only 6 rounds in the clip, you are going to be reloading this thing constantly. So it is very, very important that you make every shot count on this. With its high accuracy and little to no recoil at aim down sights, you probably aren't going to have that hard of a time actually landing shots. Now when you aim down sights, uh, it has no recoil whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, it does kick, but as soon as the next shot is to be fired, it's recenters. So it's really just cosmetic when you're aiming down sights. However, when you hip fire, there is recoil. So, I mean, you shouldn't really be hip firing this thing anyway. I mean, unless it's like an emergency. It's terrible at hip fire. Aim down sights is where it's at. So I can't really talk about the range too much on this, because the ranges are currently bugged. Uh, as you can see, the optimal and effectives are pretty big on these. Uh, most weapons that you're dealing with at these ranges are assault rifles, and they will beat you out pretty much every chance you get, <laughs> like in a head-on fight. But the problem with this is, according to the SDE, uh, all of the absolute values for the ranges, absolute ranges rather, on the bolt pistol are at negative one. So they don't shoot past their effective range, which kind of breaks the gun. So yeah, that kind of sucks. So hopefully that'll get patched, because in the meantime, the one really, really good thing about this weapon is the range, and you really can't take advantage of that to its fullest extent. Now that's not saying that this isn't good, it's still an amazing sidearm. Personally, I really love it because once you get that flank off, it fires so few rounds uh, and hits so hard that like it's kind of disorienting because, I mean, the enemy only gets hit like three or four times. You're two and three shotting scouts, most medium frames, you're going to take down in four to five hits. Uh, heavies, you might have to reload. Uh, but, I mean, this is me speaking strictly from the perspective of Operation 4. I don't have any proficiency, and this thing still works great as long as you land all your shots. So with proficiency, it's going to be a beast. That's for sure. Because this only has six rounds before you're going to have to reload, I highly, highly recommend you get your, uh, your rapid reload skill up on this. Since it has no sharpshooter, this is a much, much smaller uh, SP sync if you will, to max out, so what I would do personally is take it to about proficiency 3 or 4 and then move on to your reload skill. I really really love uh, this bolt pistol on my scout. Well, I only have scout suits now. <laughs> anyway, but uh, the reason why I really like it is because it really really excels like at the flank. Like not every gun has to <laughs> like have the ability to kill somebody head on I mean just because this gun excels like at the flank doesn't mean it's a bad gun I mean yeah you're gonna lose probably in a straight up fight against maybe a scrambler pistol at close range but if you 
really take thought into your positioning, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't, like, the uh, guy you're shooting at, if you don't kill him right out, he's going to be really disoriented from where you're coming from because you're firing less rounds down range, so that noise isn't there. It's pretty quiet. Uh, he's getting less hit markers, so he can't really, like, pinpoint you. So it's kind of disorienting to get hit by it also because it hits so hard. It kind of scares the crap out of people. Honestly, I try to stick around uh, about 30 to 40 meters out. I try to not go anywhere like around 50 just because the range is bugged right now. So if anybody just walks a little bit away from you, you're not going to do any damage to them. Uh, which is kind of a shame because in this range, you lose to pretty much every other weapon. <laughs> so if you miss a shot, you're going you're gonna to lose. Really is. So it's really important that you land every, every round with this gun. Because there's no room for error with it. And I think because of this fact, the fact that you do have to land six out of six shots or five out of six shots to take down a properly fit assault, uh, anybody who's not a scout <laughs> or somebody who's not injured, uh, is why I don't think it's that popular because it, it, requires good accuracy, you know, and patience. Uh, something that not a lot of people have. Waiting for that perfect opportunity to get those beautiful headshots is something that not a lot of people want to do. Also because this thing is just god-awful <laughs> in close quarters. As you can see, I just destroyed that Amar Scout in close quarters with my SMG and he tried to shoot me with his bolt pistol from 10 meters away, it, it is not a close range weapon. Just don't even bother. <laughs> like, don't equip this expecting it to really help you on an indoor map, because it's not going to. And that is why it's freaking balanced, which is amazing. CCP gets really confused as to how to balance long range weapons, in my opinion. <laughs> they just give long range weapons too high of a rate of fire and too much damage. But this, however, fires slow as sin, but not so slow that it's useless. It's like perfect, perfect. So kudos, kudos. So how does the bolt compare to all the other pistols? Personally, I would say that the Scrambler still on top. Scrambler is still king. Bolt pistol coming in at a close second. And then I think it's a tie between the Ion and the Flaylock. If you are all about precision, high damage, low rate of fire, low recoil, then the Bolt Pistol's for you. If you're all about the Overwatch, hanging out on the flank, sniping people with your sidearm, the Bolt Pistol's for you. If you're the running and gutting type, going around corners, kicking indoors, running through interior outposts, bolt pistol, not for you. Nope. <laughs> it, is, it is not the pistol you want. So yeah, I highly encourage everybody, put a point in the bolt pistol, just one will do. It still do work with the basic one. I don't have any proficiency, so all these kills you're seeing here, no proficiency, no damage mod, just the advanced one. If I can do it, you can too. Just uh, take time with your shots, make them count, get good positioning, and really that's that's it for the success for the bolt pistol. All you need to do is flank. Flank, flank, flank. Flank like there's no tomorrow. Just remember that in a fair gunfight, like, they see you, you see them. They have anything besides a bolt pistol, they're probably going to kill you. So... Be weary of that. Try not to engage in any fair fights. It's, it's just not what the bolt pistol is good for. If this review has helped you, like, subscribe, tell a friend. If you like the bolt pistol, hate the bolt pistol, tell me all about it. Post up in the comments. I'd like to hear what you guys think. But until then, guys, happy hunting.